First of all, I want to uh, welcome you all to the uh, 2023 Spring Point Shootout. fishing categories, right? We're shark, ground fish, striped bass. So the shark category with Mako closure, we're going to be weighing poor beagle and thresher sharks, right? Minimum fork length of 72 inches on those fish. And how we're going to measure them is, is across the body, right? So put the tape on the nose, run it across the body right to the, the fork of the tail is how we're measuring those. Top three heaviest fish are going to win prizes. We're paying out cash. And then um, we're also doing the catch and release shark category. So in each one of your pamphlets, you have an affidavit. So you, you catch and release a blue shark or a mako or a short fish, write it down, your time of day, rough location, you know, rough size, and then keep track of those. Top three on that category as well, which is great. And then, um, so just make sure you keep those affidavits filled out. Ground fish, same thing, top three heaviest fish. Uh, it's any legal ground fish, right? So pollock, haddock, you know, monkfish, cost. Bring, bring whatever's legal in. No dogfish. Bluefish don't category aren't aren't a ground fish. Just a heads up there. So pretty much anything you catch on, on bottom will qualify there. So the striped bass category, obviously, we're running with a pretty limited slot, right? So we're going, if it's a legal striped bass, we're going to weigh it. Heaviest slot fish will win cash prizes. And then we're also doing, just like the blue shark this year, we're doing the affidavit, right? So catch and release a striped bass, record it, write it down, um, you know, turn in your affidavit, and catch and release numbers will give out prizes for the top three. Good job, Tom. Wow. Good job. Good job, everyone. Hope you guys have a blast again. It's all a thing to try to have fun. And, uh, it's just for fun. Enjoy the road of boating and fishing. And if you guys really have a great time, it was my idea. Yeah. If it sucked, it was his idea. Alright, big energy intro. Welcome to the great state of Maine. Like the hats, it means it's a shark tournament weekend. I sound stupid in Canadian. Smash that! Smash that! I was kidding, it's the uh, Spring Point shootout. It's very foggy. Um, we're 10 miles out. We beat feet to get out here. We didn't go out till about 6. Hopefully everybody's staying safe. Uh, we haven't seen any sharks yet. We've caught a couple cod, uh, which are out of season, but then we did catch a cusk, which we're gonna weigh in. So hopefully you enjoy the footage and we got some more coming. Uh, hopefully somebody catches a shark so we can see it at the weigh in, but um, we're gonna give this a few more hours and then we'll see. This footage is gonna be so hazy, but it's literally pea soup out here. You can't see anything. So you guys get the experience too. And um, stick around for more. Uh, hopefully some footage of a shark getting weighed in or something like that. We're going to go to the weigh-in later with uh, the one fish we have so far. So I'm rambling because I'm tired, but it's okay. It's okay. People come here for the company. There you go. There we go. I don't know what this is. Willing to bet it's a fish. You can tell it's a codfish from the way that it is. I hope it's a cusk and we can weigh this. It's a big fucking cusk. Alright, we'll tighten up the... A little bit, I'll get you a little more. There you go. You recording? Yep. You can sit right in here. Oh, oh, oh. 
go. Pop them and go. Go to get go around to the other side of the boat. Keep it away from the uh, boat. Keep it away from the boat. I feel like you went back under. You went back under. Go, go, go right. You gotta keep yeah. uh, sure. Detach the rod. Detach the rod. Detach the rod. Okay, you got it? Yeah, detach the rod. Pump that up. Okay. He's down around 50 feet. We're going to see what it is. He's bringing me up. Okay. Idiot David Ben? Yep. Alright, it's a blue shark. Oh, the big old blue. Just get ready. I'm going to try and get him to stay. Get that swivel. Oh. Okay, you attach it? Nope. You're good. You need that swivel. God damn it. There we go. Good release. Put that rod away. Oh, we're good. Go. Woo! Drop the canopy. Let's get that anchor and we're fucking gone. It's not. Don't worry. Don't worry. Stop filming. <laughs> Oh yeah. We might we might get that we might get that little one, but probably not. Anyways, that's how big Paul again, in case you guys are wondering. Now you want to stop filming? <laughs> nah, you're good. What do you guys got here? Stinky shitty costumes. <laughs> <laughs> she counts. Feet, feet, soaked my boat, ran through a thunderstorm. We we caught we got one we had one blue shark before the freaking thunderstorm. And literally we caught we hooked it and then it just started clacking thunder. Caught a wicked nice cod too, which is yeah. which is a shame. Oh yeah, I know. Did all those Paula come up? One boat. Well, I was gonna say what? Six point four. Six point four on the cost. What's the bottom Paula? Like eight, eight and a half. Eleven. Jesus. Oh, perfect. <laughs> I can't. Go ahead, bring it on. Yeah, I thought I was sitting pretty. Cool. Workout twenty-five Small craft, advisory in effect. It occurred to me while uh, editing this video that I did not do an intro for day two or an explanation of why we went up going bass fishing. But um, the weather turned overnight. Uh, it was small craft advisory on Saturday. <laughs> And we're in a 23 foot center console. So we tried to get around the corner to get out to the shark fishing grounds and it was blowing like crazy and they were big seas with tight frequency. So we stayed inshore and did some bass fishing and yeah, montage.
go, 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 go. You got it, Ben. You got it. Turn up your drag a little bit. Keep pressure on him and keep the rod up in the air. Pump him. Remember we talked? Yeah, the pump. You gotta, you gotta start working him or he's gonna keep going. Here, come here. Come here. Come here. Start pumping him a little bit. I'm still trying to get the hook out, man. I know. Where'd that glove go? He's on. He's wearing it. You don't need it, man. You're good. You need to pinch it real good. Ready? Dude, I'm not gonna hold that. Pinch it real freaking good. That's a fish, boy. You got it? Let me get a photo of you real quick. Jesus, dude. It's nice, man. It's a nice fish. I'm fish. dire, man. <laughs> 40. <laughs> Two 40s Two in, in a year. <laughs> All right. Jay, you want to get this release? Oh. Go to the bow. Just let him chill. Give that out. Fought that fish well, dude. Thanks, man. That's how you end a tournament, brother. That's how you end a tournament. <laughs> oh, man, that's fun. Start stepping up. I'm going to go in a couple minutes here. Nice job. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't catch a lot, but my God, did he make it count? Thank you, Rob. Great tournament, great turnout, a lot of fish. You know, I know it was really tough conditions out there, especially the guys who were offshore. We had some, we had some warriors who spent a lot of time out there and got, got the snot beat out of them. We didn't weigh any sharks, which is always unfortunate because I know Don really wanted some, some fish. It's kind of important when you have a shark tournament. In, in a shark, shark tournament, you know, the sharks are an integral 
part of that. But and that being said, we did fill the cool the, 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 the box truck with quite a bit of fit. And, and that's uh you know, that really So we left some prize money on the table, right? So what we're going to do for that, we're rolling that to next year, okay? But we're also going to give Don check for a thousand bucks. Oh, wait, wait. Yeah. And in first place, <laughs> the Striper King. Hey! Hey! Fish and vessel bobber down. Bobber down. Steve Richard. Hey! Wow. Ten pounds, point five five. And in first place, they do get it right this time. <laughs> on the water, boy, sixteen point one pound Pollock, massive Pollock, Bob Bouchet. In first place, this guy left the tent, went offshore, and got back at three o'clock today. He's wow. been here this whole time. Seven Sharks, Real Stripper, Steve Wayne. Oh. Oh. I don't know if I can lock you over. He hasn't gone to bed yet. So really Great. appreciate you guys doing it. Okay. We're going to pick a date early next year, and, and we'll you know schedule it for right around this time again next year. Spread the word, get your buddies involved. It's, it's a great time. We do want to like to make it competitive, so thank you again, guys. Enjoy the rest of the summer. I guarantee it's coming. And, uh, and be safe out there, and we'll see you next year. Thank you all. Well, thank you all for sticking around to the end. Uh, that was a fun video, fun weekend. Uh, pumped Ben got his got a 41 inch striper. Uh, it was neat to get the blue shark, even though it was pretty sketchy running in during the lightning storm. Uh, we got absolutely drenched that day. Um, quick shout out to to Spring Point Marina, obviously thrown on the tournament. It was a great time. We're gonna fish it next year. We're probably gonna go one day shark, one day bass, just because we had so much fun bass fishing. And uh, also a call out to the Wayside Food Center. Um, most of the fish, if not I think all the fish that got weighed, got donated. Uh, and if we'd have caught any sharks, we would have donated those. So look them up. It's a great program. They feed a lot of people uh, in need. So thanks for watching to the end again. Uh, I got one more good bass video coming out that I'll be putting out next week. And then we're going to start releasing footage for the Moose Look Me Guntic camping trip. Uh, the boat build and then some footage from last year. And then... Heading up for the week with Jay and Evan to do some salmon fishing and some camping. So looking forward to that. If you like the content, like it, subscribe. Have a good week.